What's up? It's Coach J Pro back with another round of reflex bag workouts. Let's go! Today we have a four round, 20 minute boxing workout focused on defense and counter punching. Like all the workouts on this channel, it's designed to be done with the reflex or cobra bag, but if you don't have one, don't stress. You can still follow along using whatever equipment you have at home or just shadow boxing all of the different movements with no equipment at all. You don't need your gloves on yet. Just make sure your space is cleared out. You've got water nearby. We're gonna jump into a warm up in 10 seconds. All right, so we got our area cleared out. We're getting ready for a little warm up. It's another thing we love about the Reflex bag. It is the most dynamic training tool there is. We're gonna open up with a wrist stretch. So hold your left arm out and then just use your right hand to pull your hand back and get a nice stretch through the wrist and forearm. So anyone can use a heavy bag. We know it's a classic tool too. And feel really strong and powerful using a heavy bag. But the reflex bag just opens up so many more possibilities. Let's switch hands here. Start working head movement and defense so you get really get a more realistic experience of what it's like to train like an actual fighter. We're gonna go into arm circles, going backwards for 30 seconds. Nice wide arm circles here. Switch direction, coming forward now. And you know I'm almost always doing arm circles because the shoulders and the back you really want to make sure it's nice and loose anytime you're going through these boxing workouts. Have you heard me say that before? All right, we're going to go into a little torso twist here for 30 seconds. Really want to start to open up the core and the hips, pivoting on the balls of my feet. Now let's open those up. All right, 30 seconds, we're gonna go into a little freestyle jump rope. Whatever pace works for you. If you've got a real jump rope, grab it quick. If not, the invisible jump rope works well, but don't cheat, you know? Really make it seem like you're jumping rope. Gotta get those calves activated because we're gonna be doing a lot of pivoting, a lot of moving around. All right, last minute of the warm up, we're gonna go into a little freestyle shadow boxing. Really important part of boxing training. So just moving around your space, start to open up your punches anywhere from one to four at a time. Start to practice your breathing. And remember, shadow boxing, we start out going half speed. We don't wanna go in here going crazy. We go half speed. So we start to feel the movements, build the muscle memory. Now, if this is your first time working out with me, first of all, welcome. You're gonna get into your boxing stance with your dominant foot and hand in the back. For me, I'm a righty. That right leg is gonna go out just in front. So I'm on train tracks, not a balance beam. I'm on train tracks. Then we've got the one, that's the lead straight. The two, is the rear straight, three is the lead hook, four is the rear hook, five is the lead uppercut, and six is the rear uppercut. I'm gonna introduce you to some new moves as we go along, but those are the basics. If you have that down, you can do any workout on this channel. So grab a quick sip of water. We jump in around one in one minute. Hey, hey. All right, gloves on, getting ready for round one. We're gonna have a really fun workout for these next four rounds because every round, we're gonna break it up by working a different defensive technique. It's a cool thing about boxing, there's a lot of different ways to defend. So every round is gonna be dedicated to a different technique. The first round is all about the slips. Now before we get into that, I wanna remind you, I like to remind everyone, 
This is a really tricky tool, the reflex bag. It's meant for professional developing boxers. So it takes time and consistency to start to feel comfortable using it. Punching it is hard enough, but once you start to add defensive techniques into the combinations, it does feel tricky, it does feel awkward. So if I'm teaching you certain movements and they're feeling weird, feeling awkward, you're on the right track. We wanna lean into the awkwardness, lean into the weirdness, not shy away from it, because it's gonna feel more and more comfortable as you go. So first, we're gonna open up with a flow one, two. So no defense yet. We're just gonna get going, get warm in 30 seconds. It's our nice, light, sustainable pace. If your bag doesn't move as fast as mine, you can flow at whatever pace or timing feels right to you. We're flowing here for five more seconds. Okay, step out. We're gonna get into our first combo. It's gonna be a one, two, slip lead, one. Anytime you're doing a slip, you're just taking your head off the center line. One, two, slip lead towards your front leg, one. On the bag now. Ish, ish. Slip, one. One, two, slip, one. One, two, slip, one. One, two, slip, one. Okay, now we're gonna go to a different combination. We're gonna do a one slip rear towards your back leg, two. One slip, two. You go whatever speed helps you practice. One slip rear, two. Ish, 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 ish. If you've been doing these workouts with me for a while, and you wanna start to pick up the speed, you can. Only person you're really competing with, is yourself. Okay, 30 seconds of an active recovery here. We're just gonna slip lead, slip rear. Lead, rear. You notice my feet aren't moving. I can do it with my hands up or my hands in guard. I'm just practicing my slips. You think about it just like a straight line, taking your head off the center line. Slip, slip. All right, shake it out. We're gonna put those two combinations together now, so a little trickier. It's gonna be a one, two, slip lead, one, one, slip rear, two. One more time. One, two, slip lead, one, one, slip rear, two. Take your time. One, two, slip lead, one, one, slip rear, two. Ish, 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 ish. And as you develop, start to use your bag to actually slip out of the way. Just proceed with caution. One, two, slip, one, one, slip, two. 15 seconds. One more here. And time. All right, now how are we feeling about those slips? Not too bad, right? It's just getting the timing down. That's really just time and practice. The slips are pretty simple, just a straight line. The rolls get a little bit trickier, but we're gonna get it down. So this, this round we're gonna work on rolls. Now with the roll, it's pretty similar to a slip. Obviously you're getting out of the way of a punch, but instead of a straight line, you're rolling underneath the punch. So you visualize a punch coming at you and you're rolling underneath. The roll is a classic boxing method because it puts you in a good opportunity to counter if you successfully roll under an opponent's hook. You can either roll lead towards your front leg or roll rear. So get in your stance and practice a couple times. Roll lead, roll rear. Important that you wanna roll with the legs so you don't wanna do this puts the wrong type of pressure on your back and then you're blind to your opponent. But first, we're gonna get going with that flow one, two again for 30 seconds. One of the easiest ways to get better and better with timing and control. This is the no look. That's how you know the timing is coming along once you start doing the no look. But for all these methods, 
Be careful of swagger overload. That's when you start feeling yourself too much and your bag clocks you. It happens to me all the time. We're gonna go into our first combo. It's just gonna be a one, two, roll lead. That's it, and then reset. One, two, roll lead. Roll. One, two, roll. That's it. You don't wanna do it continuously. We're at a combination pace here. Wop, wop, roll. One, two, roll. All right, ready for combo number two? It's gonna be a three, roll rear, two. That's a three, roll rear, two. This is trickier for the timing, so just take your time. And what do we say about missing? You're forbidden to miss. No, I'm just kidding. We encourage missing, just stay balanced. Three, roll rear, two. Ish, roll, ish, ish. Roll. All right, 30 seconds, a little bit of a break. We're just gonna go to a roll lead, roll rear. 30 seconds here. Get loose, get relaxed. If you wanna drop your hands, you can. If you want a more realistic experience, keep those hands up. 10 seconds here. Rear, lead. Rear, lead. Pop, pop. Feel like we're dancing now. All right, last minute, we're gonna put those two combos together. You ready? It's gonna be a one, two, roll lead, three, roll rear, two. One more time. One, two, roll lead, three, roll rear, two. Yikes! It's not really a beginner workout, I'm not gonna lie. Two, roll lead, ice, roll rear, ice. One more time. One, two, roll lead, three, roll rear, two. You go as slow or as fast as you want. You don't have a bag, one, two, roll, three, roll, two. Ish, ish, Wop. Wop. 10 seconds. Ish. See, I messed it up myself there. One, two, roll lead, three, roll rear, Two, there it is. Okay, how are we feeling? We're already at the halfway point. You're doing great, you made it this far. Now remember, this is a good workout to save for later because these are tricky combos that we're putting together. You could probably make your own workout out of each technique. So I would save this one, I would come back to it because these are all good combinations that you can drill in the future. So, round one, we worked our slips, our head movement, then we did some rolls, rolling under our opponent's punches. Has anyone gotten hit by their bag yet? Be careful of swag overload. Round three, we're just gonna work the duck. Simple, straight down. Again, the key thing is I'm using my legs to duck. I'm not using my lower back. That'd be like putting your head on a platter for your bag. So the duck, just going straight down. So in five seconds, we're gonna open up with a flow five, six, and then we're gonna go into our combos that involve the duck. So let's get right into that flow five, six for 30 seconds. We should be sweating now. I'm known for sweating after round one. Good, 10 seconds here, open up that speed. If we're in the second half, we want to pick it up a little bit, we can. All right, step out, shake it out. First combination is gonna be a one, two, duck, two. On the bag. Ish, 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 ish. One, two, duck, two. Simple, open it up here. Ish, 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 ish. One more. Pop, pop, duck, two. All right, combo number two. It's gonna be a two, duck, five. Two, duck, five. Hiss, 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 hiss. If it feels weird, embrace the weirdness, like life. 
We don't shy away from the weirdness because the status quo is boring. All right, 30 seconds of a little freestyle here. Open it up with your bag. If you wanna add some slips or some rolls or a duck, you can. 15 second freestyle here. Just you and your bag and my voice. <laughs> I tend to talk a lot. Now if I say duck, duck, goose, you run around your bag. Duck, duck, goose. No, I'm just kidding. I want you to comment if you actually ran around your bag. Last minute of the round, we're gonna put those two combos together. We've got a one, two, duck, two, two, duck, five. One more time. One, two, duck, two, two, duck, five. Duck, duck, goose. One, two, duck, two, two, duck, five. Ish, 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 ish. Don't forget to breathe. Duck, duck, goose. Just kidding. Ah, ah, ah. 15 seconds here. One, two, duck, two, two, duck, five. Ish, ish. Hiss, hiss, hiss. One more, together. <clears throat> Woo! Feels amazing, amazing. Grab a quick sip of water, we go on the fourth and final round in one minute. <laughs> All right, let's go, fourth and final round. I don't know why I got the giggles over here, thinking about um, Duck Duck Goose, which reminds me if you made it to the fourth and final round, I wanna know who's really with me. I wanna know who's in the deep water doing these workouts. I appreciate the people who come in and pop in for a round or two, but I really wanna know the folks who are with me. So if you made it to this part and you're doing the whole workout, I want you to comment duck, duck, goose. So people think that we're all crazy, because we are a little crazy, but we're having fun and we're getting fit with boxing training. Comment duck, duck, goose if you're with me. We're gonna finish this workout in a fun way. We're gonna do an entire three minute freestyle, moving around your bag, throwing whatever you want, practicing your slips and your rolls, but with some call outs. So if I call out a combo, you'll do that combo one time and then go right back to your freestyle. Starting now, less three minutes of the day, let's really work here. Move around your bag, throw whatever you want, practice some slips, some rolls, and if I yell out a combo, one, slip rear two. Good. Two, duck two. Good. And then back to moving. And freestyling. One, slip rear two. Two, roll rear two. Good. Freestyling here, whatever you want. Take chances. Don't be afraid to miss. I miss all the time, but I stay balanced, so it's okay. Ish, ish. One, roll rear two. Ish. Ish. Again, one, roll rear two. One more time. One, duck two. Duck. Duck. Goose. One, roll rear two. Two, roll lead one. Whoop, <laughs> I psyched myself out there. One, two, one, two. Ish, 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 ish. One, slip lead three. Woo, I like that one. We're halfway through, keep working with me. One, slip lead three. Ha, ah, A. Two, slip rear four. Woo. Again, that was a tricky one. Two, slip rear four. One more time. Ah. Ah, duck, duck, goose. One slip lead five, one slip rear six. Duck, one roll rear two. Last minute of work, stay busy. Remember, if you get tired, 
Just slow your punches down. Nothing wrong with that. It's better to slow it down and keep moving than to do this. Last 30 seconds, let's go. One, two, duck two. Again. One, roll rear four. Two, roll lead five. One, duck two. One slip lead two. One slip rear two. Duck, duck, goose. We're gonna make that a thing. One roll rear four to end it. Aye! And time. Woo! I'm exhausted. Great work. I would definitely save this workout so you can try some of these techniques later. Lean into the weirdness. Lean into the awkwardness. It's all part of growing and building skill with your bag. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again real soon.